Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Fred Sital. Welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. And today, this is the first episode of how to install mods. So basically, today we're going to be setting up the framework on how to install mods. So for this particular um, session, all of my mods were wiped, um, nearly all of them. So that's a bummer. All right. So first thing you will need, we're going to come back to this later because you guys don't exactly need that right now. First thing you will need to do is install Vortex. So Vortex is a mod menu. Uh, I didn't need to, I don't think I needed to download this. Okay. I think I did, but just in case download that, but sometimes you won't need to. So. Basically, um, Vortex is a mod menu manager. It's not a mod menu manager, but it's a mod manager. I have mine right here. And these are pretty much the uh, things you will need except the framework for a unique V. Um, you will need to get Cybrans and Tweaks, Red Script, Archive XL, Tweak XL, and Quit Me EX, Red for EXT, and Coldware. These are the absolute basics. These are the ones that you will need, um, especially for like clothing mods and stuff, but we'll get into that later. So I'm going a bit too fast here. So what you would need to do after you installed Vortex is that you go to games and then you go to Cyberpunk 2077. Now if it doesn't show up at the bottom part, you can always just uh, type in the name and it should show up. And <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much how you set it up. And then it'll let you go to his, uh, mod, it'll let you go to the mods folder and stuff. It'll open up your mods. So if you have Steam, it'll be Steam, Steam Maps, Comments, Cyberpunk 2077. So only these three will change. Um, but Cyberpunk 2077 will be the same folder regardless of what you want to start it on. Epic Games, GOG, whatever. So, <clears throat> go back to Nexus Mods. And click on Cyberpunk 2077. So what I mean by that is that you do that. Click on Nexus Mods, the logo, then Cyberpunk 2077. And as you see, this is going to be a lot of the mods. So, what um, you need to go to popular of all time if you want to find these easier. But yeah, these are the first few that I told you you needed. Uh, Cyber Engine Tweaks, Red Script, Red 4 EXT, Archive XL, and Tweak XL. Virtual Ads a Liar, if you guys want to download off the um, off of your computer. Well, pretty much uh, install custom clothing mods off of your computer. As you see, this is what it looks like. Um, but though that's optional. However, code wear is mandatory. Material and texture override is mandatory. Equipment EX is mandatory as well. Uh, virtual car dealer if you want to install car mods that is absolutely mandatory so um, as well as some body mods for V you're also gonna need to um, install a mod for that which I think I have most of them installed so you can go ahead and install these from vortex so if we um, go back I've mentioned tweaks it's going to have Vortex and it's going to have Manual. So most of them are going to have Vortex, except maybe... Well, I know the one for sure that doesn't have Vortex is Material and Texture Override. But you're going to have to download it manually. You're going to have to... Let's see, open Game Mods folder. So in order to install mods manually, you'll need to go ahead, go to your downloads once you've installed it. You'll need to extract the file. Uh, you can either extract it in the Cyberpunk 2077 folder or extract it to your desktop. So after that, you want to go in, go to Archive, PC, and Mod. And then it's going to have an archive file here. I've already placed it, so it says empty. So what you would do is move this mod over to the corresponding folder. So you go to Archive, PC, and Mod in the Cyberpunk 2077 folder. And it's going to have Material and Texture Override Archive. Once you've moved it, it's going to be placed here. So <clears throat> that is that, that's how you install manually, but I'm going to show you how Vortex works. So while that's there, 
I'm going to install Virtual Atelier because I'm going to be needing to use that. I'm going to install the basic because the basics one's been working for me. So this is how it'll work. So basically first it'll pop up in your downloads and then it'll pop up in your mods and it's gonna enable itself. But after you've installed those mods, those are pretty much the basic ones. So once you come up here, it's gonna ask you for your overlay key, cybers and tweaks will, it also will pop up the settings, tweak, DB get all that stuff. But you don't need all of that. So uh, just bind your uh, key, I have mine set to O, to toggle it <clears throat> on and off. So I gotta do is just launch the game like normally, like you normally would. And then you go ahead and press continue. So basically this is the framework. So after this, you can install basically almost any mod you want. I also um, hope you guys enjoy it. So let's see, yep, it works. So this ND custom store is installed. Virtual card dealer has no offers at the moment. Please start any supported mods and come back again. So yeah, that's how those work. Uh, Cybridge and Tweaks, you how that works. Material and Texture Override as well as some of the other mods. It'll allow you to have way more clothes. Um, so these are specifically Cyberpunk 2077 uh, clothes. These are deep, these are vanilla clothes, is what I want to say. These aren't um, the full clothes, or at least what I'm going to install later on. But anyway, that is how you pretty much set up that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one.